Hi, I'm Dr. Walter Matwichuk. I'm a licensed psychologist. I work at the Medical School of the University of Pennsylvania and have a private practice in Rittenhouse Square. Because of its advantages, I practice a distinct form of cognitive behavioral therapy. It is named Rational Emotive Behavior Therapy, or REBT for short. I learned Rational Emotive Behavior Therapy from the person who actually created it, the very well-known Albert Ellis. I studied with him in New York City uh, for several years and then worked on his staff for a number of years after that before moving to Philadelphia. REBT is distinct from other cognitive behavioral therapies in that it has three main advantages as I see them. One, it's very efficient. Two, it emphasizes human fallibility and unconditional self-acceptance instead of self-esteem. And three, it emphasizes what we call the philosophically elegant solution or the emotional solution. REBT shows you how to consider the worst case scenario and then adopt a belief system that helps you have resiliency if and when the worst case scenario happens. This is the philosophically elegant solution which I think is a distinct advantage of REBT. We identify goals behaviors that you either want to increase or decrease, emotional responses, feelings that you either want to experience less or you'd like to experience more, or situations that you'd like to handle differently. Then during the course of therapy, we talk about the problem and how you think about the problem. I send people between session at no additional charge what I call intermittent reinforcement email messages. These are short messages, if they agree to receive them, short messages that prompt them to think differently and behave different, differently and even practice in their home environment. With couples, I try to show each partner how they are responsible for their emotional upset. Typically, couples try to first change the other person. In the REBT way, I try to show people to first change you and then you can more effectively deal with your difficult spouse. The human condition is such that we will backslide occasionally. Even after psychotherapy, people may go back to some old habits. But if you have learned certain important skills, one, self-acceptance, two, learning to, con to condemn the sin but not the sinner, rating the behavior, and three, taking responsibility for your emotional upset, you could begin to implement and practice these skills again.